Oh, are you serious? Oh, a fish on. Oh, God dang it. Are you serious? What is going on, guys? Welcome back to this channel. Thanks for joining us for another weekend adventure. Uh, this weekend, kind of normal-ish, I guess. Saturday was uh, mowing and helping my dad. So there wasn't a whole lot going on. However, Sunday, Sunday was interesting. Decided that I wanted to go fishing. Friday night, didn't quite get up Saturday morning for that. So we got up Sunday. So we are back out at the secret, not so secret spot. First time in a while we've been able to get here and nobody's here. And actually there's one person here but he's over that way so it's fine uh not sure if we're gonna get top water bites or not because someone had to sleep in an extra 40 minutes so we'll see but uh it is gorgeous out here this morning the only thing that would make this better if i was in a boat <clears throat> so let's get to fishing i think we're gonna start out with a chopo Oh, are you serious? Did you just lose my chopper? Dude. That's, I've got to change this braid. I haven't changed the braid on this. Huh? No. But. So I haven't been able to change the braid on this rod yet on the reel and it's the braid that was on there when I bought it all right well let's try this frog you say that weight makes it perfect to cast but too heavy to top water. That was the second time that fish has come out of the water. And I swear they're coming out right where my bait's at. That big old fish out there just blew up on the top. Oh, a fish on. Oh, God dang it. Are you serious? Dude, my reel just broke. Oh. <laughs> well, done with that Shakespeare. Well, we've had more failures here today than ever. Let's recap. I lost the El Chapo that I caught my personal best on. Uh, my son tree snagged my small black Chapo, lost it. Those are ten dollars a piece. My six foot Shakespeare snapped on a fish. The top water frog that I thought was going to work great didn't work. So on to the next spot. Tiny little pole. On the finger on the top. What is that, like a Hold three foot rod? Hold on, Kinsley. Is that a three foot rod? Look at that. And look at the color on it. It's like camouflage. That's awesome. And of course, I wasn't rolling. Hey. 
bass. Little one. I am, God. I think I'm snagged. How the hell? I cast it out there and then I reeled it in a little bit before I walked away. So you tell me. That's the second rod reel snap today, Shakespeare. I just snapped the rod. I was pulling it sideways to get the dang thing to break the line. Yeah. So. Hold it up, up high. <laughs> get a picture with you in it. Look at Ben. Look at me. Good job. All right. <laughs> Just got out of the pool with everybody. Um, Heading over here to check the ribs that we put on earlier. Because we were swimming in the pool and we we're gonna have my homemade sweet heat ribs. Oh yeah. So while I was um, breaking that reel and losing those lures this morning my buddy Sean from uh, you'll know, remember him from the video where I got my PB I'll link that one down below he was out on the same reserve catching his new PB because his PB was just over 5 and mine was 515 and except now his is 61 and here's photographic evidence for all the people who say it ain't the people who said it mine wasn't what it was on Facebook. Appreciate you trolls. Um, and then let's see, I came back, I seasoned the ribs, and uh, my nephew from the uh, where we broke a record video, link down in the description. Um, he was like, hey, let's go catfishing. So I'll go back catfishing. That's right. <clears throat> I broke another, I broke a rod. It's two Shakespeare combos. One rod, one reel. <sighs> yeah. And on top of that, I dropped my tackle box off the back of Jacob's truck. And half of it went on the ground, half of it went in his truck. And then to clean that mess up. So obviously today was not my day to go fishing. I just came home and uh, built this towel rack for the pool and moved all these bricks around so we'd have a little patio place to put our shoes at. Moved the ladder around and uh, just pulled a bunch of limbs down, a bunch. We probably should have had a saw and a ladder and some people. And I just kept jumping up and grabbing limbs and pulling them down and we got a rope and tied them around them and my wife was on the outside of the pool and I was on the inside of the pool and we were just pulling limbs down, piling them up around and we'll burn them off later or take them off to the dump or something. So, getting the homestead down where we want it. Um, when we go to deck all that, the outdoor kitchen that I am in right now 
that the smoker is currently going in. All that's getting moved to the back on a lower deck. And uh, we're just gonna make it be a backyard oasis. I can't hold this open long because I'll lose heat. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It is about time to wrap these up in aluminum foil. And uh, let these bask for an hour in some butter and homemade. It's a homemade barbecue sauce that my wife makes, but she uses the rub that I use, that I make, that I put on the ribs. And she puts it in the barbecue sauce, so you let that caramelize and some aluminum foil on butter for about an hour, hour and a half. Whew. It'll make you slap your mama. So we do a combination of butter and the barbecue sauce on the aluminum foil. There's some more barbecue sauce on top of it. And I might fling a little bit of butter, wrap it up, do the second one. And then throw them back on for another hour of heat. And there we have a pack of ribs. They'll go back on here for an hour to an hour and a half. And then they will be caramelized and delicious and ready to go. Alright guys, that's it. We're uh, going to enjoy the rest of the weekend with family. Uh, comment down below what you like, what you want to see more of, the projects and stuff. What do you think I did wrong today? It was it was a good weekend. I mean, yeah, I shouldn't have been fishing, I guess. It, it wasn't, I wasn't meant to be out there fishing, obviously breaking a rod and a reel, losing baits, dumping over the tackle box, still caught a couple of catfish, still caught a bass, still got to swim and had some amazing ribs. Oh man, it was just a great weekend. Uh, found a new reservoir that I, when I come back from vacation, I plan on hitting. It's going to be awesome. So, uh, can't wait to do that. Get the reservoir dog out. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button for Sean's new PB. That's awesome. Hit the thumbs up button because my buddy Adam in Tennessee just got a new bass boat this weekend took it out on the water said it floats it's amazing he just needs to upgrade a few things and he's ready to go so good stuff happening make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know what you think and until next time y'all keep them full and rolling